What's up guys, welcome back to TJ AI where I show you guys how to take advantage of AI tools to build AI apps, chatbots and virtual assistants. So, last time I produced one of these videos, um, essentially I had, one, I had the team at Stack AI actually watch my video and they gave me some feedback on how to improve the outputs for Stack. Now I must say this really does make quite the difference with regards to what they told me. And if you remember in my last video, you guys will see that um, I had been using the data loaders um, here, essentially connecting 10 different URLs and then connecting it to the vector store and then to the um, large language model. But here, as you can see, this is I'm using URLs plus search, which can, which can be found in under offline data loaders. And then I loaded all 10 of the um, of the data sources, which are Dan Coe's letters into the um, node connected directly to OpenAI's um, large language model. We've got the exact same system prompt, the exact same um, general prompt. Everything else is the same. These are the only differences. However, here I'm also able to um, to um, to edit the um, the chunk limit, which is going to be, which I'm assuming, since top k is equal to 10, I'm assuming that's similar to the chunk limit here, which is 10, or which I've set to 10. Um, however, the difference still remains that I, I'm not able to set the chunk overlap, chunk length and result length in um, voice flow, which is a major plus for stack. Now, when they sent me this, um, th these pointers, it made the chatbot, they said it was going to make the chatbot 10 times faster and more accurate. And obviously, I was quite skeptical. I was like, stack AI is already pretty damn good when it comes to accurate outputs and when it comes to... Um, I mean, maybe not with speed, but definitely when it comes to accurate outputs. So I was a little bit, I was a little bit skeptical, but sure enough, it was exactly that. So what am I testing these bots on? I'm going to be testing them again on general queries to the, to the um, knowledge base, which is generally about helping seven, eight figure earners that do things online, such as content creators, info products, things like that. And then testing it on its history. And then after testing its history, we will be testing its, um, its ability to answer questions outside of the knowledge base. Okay, let's just clear the memory and then from there publish it again. Just make sure everything's all clear. Refresh this. That's another thing I didn't do in the last video actually. I hadn't um, refreshed, I hadn't cleared the memory um, enough such that it can give you a decent memory recall or history recall. So the first question is going to be, um, of course, this is somebody who helps, you know, 78 figure earners. And, you know, just so you get some context, um, allows he teaches people how to structure their lives uh, for, for optimization of both business, mentality and lifestyle. So how do I um, optimize my lifestyle and business at the same time? That's a pretty good question and it's right within his remit. Let's see what kind of answer we get. So we're gonna be judging this on the usefulness of the answer, as well as um, the speed and, um, and the way that it's actually you know, structured. So to optimize your lifestyle and business at the same time, you can join my community of like-minded people to build with and ac gain access to six-figure strategy library, personalized help. I dive deep into Essentially, it's, it's a straight up sell. You're not really going to be, um, you know, you're not really getting any uh, benefit out of it. So I'm going to say that's great. As you know, I'm going to ask you another direct question. Um, so how do I structure my, my schedule for an optimized day? This should be pretty easy because Danko talks about this quite a bit. Okay, to structure your schedule for an optimized day, start by blocking out your focus to work during high energy time blocks, preferably in the morning, prioritizing level moving tasks that will move the needle in your business and life. Additionally, dedicate at least 20 minutes daily to consuming information that will help you achieve your goals. This is a much better output than last time. Now we're gonna ask you one more question and then we're gonna ask the exact same questions over on the stack side. So um, let's ask one more question. Um, okay, let's go with um, what characteristics or what character traits 
do I need to build in order to become successful? Okay, to become successful, you need to develop skills. These skills are not optional. Um, entrepreneurship design. Yes. So ultimately, it says um, marketing, sales, writing, and speaking are also are crucial skills for business success. But it doesn't really give you a specific, um, you know, a, a specific uh, set of character traits that you need to develop. So I'd I'd rank I'd rank it pretty poorly in terms of um, the actual usefulness of the result. But this one here, um, the response to structuring the day, that's probably the best result we've gotten from the voice flow side. Now let's ask the same questions over on Stack. Now let's just yep clear this chat, refresh it. Let's go. How do I optimize my lifestyle and business at the same time? Now let's see how much quick. Okay immediately it's really really pretty good okay to optimize your business uh, at the same time focus on creating systems that process that um, and processes that streamline your workflow delegate tasks that can be outsourced or automated prioritize your time and energy on high impact activities and align business and personal um, goals and visions um, yeah this is a decent response um, I mean if we're comparing it to the one that we've got first yeah it's a lot better than that essentially just telling us oh yeah join my community even though we have not trained it to tell it to to you know give that kind of an answer we've told it if you can see from, if you watch the last video the prompt is you are supposed to be helping these people directly so how do i structure my schedule for an optimized day okay immediately the way it's structured it's easy one two three four i mean is it going to be another one five and then from there you can see that it's very clear in what you need to do. Prioritize high energy time blocks, start with level moving tasks, minimize distractions, incorporate regular breaks and carve out time for self-improvement. Again, I would immediately say that this is a better output than, you, than, you, than you're getting from voice flow. And at the same time, it's literally 10 times faster like the team at, at Stack said it would be. Now, finally, let's ask it, what character traits do I need to become successful? Let's go. Again, super, super fast. And we're actually getting character traits rather than, oh yeah, you know, these are the things you need. Like, if, So if we compare this, it literally just told us to become successful, you need to develop skills. They're not optional. You know, do some marketing sales, writing and speaking. Those are not character traits. Here, you're, uh, you're learning um, that you need to have self-reliance. You need to have a mindset of continuous learning persistence, adaptability, entrepreneurial mindset, which involves thinking creatively, taking risks and seeking opportunities for innovation and growth, effective communication, discipline and focus, resilience, networking and collaboration, and again, adaptability. So, I mean, it did repeat one of them. However, this is a much more well-structured, well-thought-out response to the question, and it is at lightning speed, right? So at this point, we're now gonna test the history. So, um, so we're actually gonna gonna um, go off of this the last question. So, what character traits do I need to build in order to become successful? So, let's say what about um, uh, so let's say what about um, for a um, I don't know online marketing agency. Let's see if it remembers what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it tells you the kinds of things you need to do. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it remembered. It understood that we're talking about, um, you know, what you need to, to become successful. Um, cool. Talks about building your, building up your personal brand. Um yeah yeah you have to suck at what you what you you have to suck at what you do until you improve change your work rest and play habits and um have a skill set in psychology to understand your mind okay interesting now let's ask the same question over here 
Now, it's not the best question I could have asked, but it does give us an understanding of how it's using that context. Okay. So similarly to um, to voice flow, it's giving us answers about how to be successful in a um, in an online marketing agency. Um, yeah, yeah. I would say again, if you look at the way that they're actually structured, the responses. I like the spacing. I like the the clear separation in how it's giving us um, the responses. And um, yeah, no, I, I would say I do prefer um, I do prefer stacks structure and response over voice flow so far now let's ask it one more question to test its history so let's just say what kind of business are we talking about uh, what are you giving me advice on well what kind of business did you just give me advice on just an explicit memory recall Let's see if it gets it. Okay, yeah. Online marketing agency. Nice. It pulls it just fine. So this is pretty good. Okay. Now let's ask the question over here. Hmm. Okay, it seems to not un not understand the question directly. Okay, let me ask it again. For well, what? What business did I ask you to help me? To help me with just now. interesting okay so it hasn't really managed to capture that memory for some reason um, I'm just gonna double check that the memory has been turned on yeah yeah it's just been turned on okay very 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 interesting okay um, I'll ask it one more time just to give it some benefit of the doubt but already in the history section um, voice flow is winning um, so let's say um did i ask you for help on uh with an online marketing agency earlier in this conversation Okay, yeah, it's just flat out failed. So yeah, that is a big L for stack. I'm not exactly sure why that is considering it was um, quite explicit when I asked. Um, yeah, straight up, it even gave me responses for an online marketing agency and it just, it didn't respond nice or well. Okay, so next thing we're gonna ask it is, um, something that is outside of the direct or explicit knowledge base which is going to be businesses such as like i did like i did before um, we did real estate and gaming so with this one i'm going to say something like you know a, a fishmongers just a very random um very random business type so how can i grow my fishmonger business and i know for a fact he has never talked about fishmonger businesses whatsoever. Okay, this is actually pretty damn good, you know, advice. So first of all, enhance your product offering of a wide variety of fresh, high quality seafood. Um, consider sourcing unique and specialty options for to separate yourself from competitors. Um, establish strong relationships with fishermen, wholesalers, and suppliers and um, provide exceptional customer service 
answer questions about food preparation, te cooking techniques, happy shopping experience, all these different things. Market your business locally um, using distribution flyers, local newspapers, magazines, you know, no local events, all those kinds of things. And then create a website and social media profile to showcase your products, recipes, cooking tips, and engage with other customers. Yeah. Um, and there we go. Offer value-added services such as seafood platters, pre-marinated, pre-seasoned, ready to cook, all these different things and seek feedback specifically for people who run fishmongers which is something that you would never have Danco create a blog or a video about so that is extremely extremely useful and personalized so we're going to ask the same question how uh, can I grow my fishmonger business and from my understanding or from my experience with voice flow so far I'm going to assume it's going to give us quite a generic response based on the knowledge base. There you go. Yeah, there's nothing really specific. It's just going to say, you know, you can consider creating a digital product or promoting it for free on social media. Miracle education businesses are a great to, way to start zero dollars. However, it's important to note that building a successful business requires learning the ropes of starting a real business, which can be done through online resources. Very generic, not helpful at all. And for that reason, with some of my clients, um, with regards to giving, um, so my, a lot of my clients are in the info product and um, and um, content creation niche. They have a ton of people, a lot, quite a large audience, but they don't have time to intimately message each and every one of them with personal advice. So when you use um, when you use a platform like Stack AI, you get really well tailored advice because it it, it would literally take your information. Take the take and um, be able to abstract the core elements of it and then apply it to new information, which is going to be the user's query, which is so much more useful for the user than you know just a generic query answered from the from the um from the knowledge base. So the way I typically do this is I combine Stack AI and Voice Flow by using the Stack AI um, API endpoint and then just using um, Voice Flow for the um for the UI, the, the buttons, the integrations, the voice the stuff that you can do. I love that stuff. It's way more um, intuitive and way more user friendly. And um, that's why for me, a combination of the two is probably where you will find your sweet spot. However, that does mean you're going to be paying a bit of an arm and a leg for Stack AI because it is a minimum of $200 if you want those um, more sophisticated data loaders and if you want to be able to run it more than uh, I think it's a couple hundred times in a month. So that is my video. That is it on um, Stack AI and Voice Flow. So who is the winner for me? Like I said, on the general queries, it's going to be Stack AI. On the history, it's got to be Voice Flow, especially in this test. I think Stack AI might have won last time, but Voice Flow won this time and it just proved itself it's better. Stack AI couldn't recall anything for the life of it. And then when it comes to questions outside of the knowledge base, it has to be Stack AI, especially for those in the info product and coaching or education business. That's my take. If you guys have any other comments on what I might have done wrong, leave me a comment below. Let me know what I could do to improve this test or let me know the kinds of tests that you guys are looking for to see which ones you'd rather use. If you want, me to, if you want to see me use BotPress or Chatbase or all these other um, tools, drop me a comment below and I will make a video showing you exactly how or exactly what I do. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Catch you soon.